the next we are going to do some calculations and in reactions which are gas reactants and products 4.5 liters of nitrogen react with excess of hydrogen at stp calculate the volume of ammonia produced so write down the equation first nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to give you ammonia and balance the equation we have done such stoichiometry uh, problems so in this case if you look at the gas law equation pv equals nrt everything is uh, constant the pressure is not changing uh, temperature is not changing and r is always a constant now so the only thing which is changing is the volume so if you look at the equation volume is directly proportional to a number of moles and hence such stoichiometry equations i can replace volume with number of moles so hence based on the equation volume of ammonia will be let's start with the volume of nitrogen that's 4.5 liter nitrogen and convert that into a uh, volume of ammonia using the equation because for every 1 mole of nitrogen i get 2 moles of ammonia so i can write it as 1 liter of nitrogen gives me 2 liter of um, uh, ammonia and i get the volume of ammonia as 9.0 liter 65.8 ml of oxygen gas was collected over water at 27 degrees celsius and 758 torr pressure calculate the mass of oxygen collected uh, vapor pressure of water is given as 26.7 ml at 27 degrees celsius so now in order to calculate the pressure of the oxygen pressure of the oxygen the total pressure given over there is 758 torr and the pressure of water is given for the pressure of oxygen will be the total pressure which you measure minus the vapor pressure of water and hence pressure of oxygen comes as 731 torr 267 mm i have written it as 26.7 torr because 1 mm torr and mm of ag is the same unit and once i get the pressure of oxygen and since the volume is uh, all in milliliters and liters i will convert the pressure of oxygen to atmosphere by dividing it by 760 torr and once i have the pressure in atmosphere i will use the formula pv equals nrt n is uh, uh is the one which you have to calculate pressure we have volume is given convert that into liters the value of r we know it and convert the temperature to kelvin and calculate the values of n once you get the value of n we know the molar mass of oxygen using that i can get the mass of oxygen oxygen is prepared from potassium chlorate calculate the volume of oxygen collected from 325 grams of potassium chlorate at stp so the formula given over there is kclo3 giving you kcl plus oxygen balance the equation so the first thing in order to use pv equals nrt i need to get the moles of oxygen so convert the grams of potassium chlorate using the equation to moles of oxygen and once i have the moles of oxygen i'll use the formula pv equals nrt and um, moles is there r is there temperature because it is stp it is 273 and pressure is 1 atmosphere i can get the volume of oxygen calculate the concentration of 425 ml hcl that reacts with excess zinc to produce 345 ml hydrogen at 2.50 atmosphere and 32 degrees celsius the reaction is given to you zinc reacts with hcl to give you zinc chloride and hydrogen so what do we do here since they are asking for the concentration and volume is given so concentration is moles per liter if by some method i can get the moles of hcl i will be able to get the concentration of hcl only way i can get the moles of hcl is by finding the moles of hydrogen then i will use the stoichiometry to get the moles of hcl so moles of hydrogen can be calculated since we have the pressure the volume uh, r and temperature so i get the moles of hydrogen as 0.034 so now use the equation 
and convert the moles of uh, hydrogen to moles of hydrochloric acid. So once I get the moles of hydrochloric acid, that's HCl, I can uh, divide the moles by volume with the unit of liters to get the concentration and that comes as 0.16 M. Calculate the volume of carbon dioxide produced at 32 degrees Celsius and 1.5 A atmosphere when 24.2 moles of C2H6 undergoes combustion. The equation is also given to you and you can see that it's already balanced. So using the equation, convert the 24.2 moles of C2H6 to moles of carbon dioxide. And once I have the moles of carbon dioxide, I can use PV equals NRT. I have the moles, I have R, temperature and the pressure. I can get the volume of carbon dioxide. Zero point six moles of nitrogen and one point two moles of hydrogen react to form ammonia in a container of volume forty two point zero liters at twenty five degrees Celsius. Calculate the total pressure when the reaction is complete. The equation is given nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to give you ammonia and it's also balanced. So what you do is since uh, moles of both the reactants are given, the first step we do is to find the limiting agent. So when you look at the equation, for every one mole of nitrogen, we need three moles of hydrogen. So over here, 0.6 moles of nitrogen will need 1.8 moles of hydrogen. And hence, we have less amount of hydrogen. Therefore, hydrogen is the limiting agent. And uh, as I said, since every one mole of nitrogen, we need three moles of hydrogen. So now, once I know the limiting agent, Find out the moles of ammonia formed based on this. So moles of ammonia, uh, when I calculate it, I get it as 0 0.8 moles. So now since all the rea reactant and the products are gases, I, in order to calculate the total pressure, I need to know if any reactant is left behind. So since hydrogen was the limiting agent, all of hydrogen is consumed. Now let's come to nitrogen. So let's see how much of nitrogen has reacted. So the amount of nitrogen reacted to give 0.8 moles of ammonia is 0.4. So that means out of 0.6 moles of nitrogen, 0.4 has reacted and I am left with 0.2. Therefore, in order to calculate the total moles, the moles of ammonia formed, that is 0.8, and then the moles of uh, nitrogen which is left behind 0 0.2 should have been taken into account and the moles of hydrogen formed as the uh, hydrogen which is because since all the hydrogen is reacted moles of hydrogen is 0 and therefore after I get the total moles substitute in the equation uh, PV equals NRT I, N is the total moles moles of ammonia plus moles of uh, nitrogen that's left behind I have the value of temperature, I have the value of volume, we can calculate the pressure.